office. In Cron 4's Michelle Kennedy has more on that. When Hans Reiser led police up this Oakland Hills trail to the hole where he buried his wife's body, Reiser was convicted of first-degree murder, which carries a sentence of life in prison with a minimum eligible parole date of 25 years. Now Reiser is looking at a new deal. In exchange for Mr. Reiser leading us to the grave site and discovering Nina and <coughs> identifying her positively, and also in exchange for him waiving his right to any appeals in this case, um, we have agreed to allow him to, uh, to plead guilty to a sentence of second degree murder, which carries a life sentence, but with a minimum eligible parole date of 15 years. When asked if this deal sends a message to defendants that they are better off withholding the truth so they can get a better deal later, Deputy District Attorney Paul Hora had this to say. I think, I, I think we sent the message, law enforcement, the police department, and my office as well, is sending the message that uh, if you commit murder, you're going to be found guilty of murder with or without the body, truth or lie. And uh, it doesn't make any difference. Riser's attorney told us he tried to get him to take a plea of manslaughter before and during the trial, but Riser wouldn't take it. When he re refused to accept those offers and those resolutions, it's our job to defend him, and that's what we did. We caught up with a lot of people hiking down a steep trail just to see this shallow grave. Some told us they wanted to say goodbye to Nina Riser. Others told us they don't believe Hans Reiser told police about this hole for the right reasons. I think he did this only purely for himself, not for his children, not out of remorse, but to get himself a, a better deal. In Oakland, Michelle Kennedy, Cron 4 News.